Well, hi there, it's Sandy, and I am excited to be part of the Summer of Stamping blog hop for today and sharing some ideas with the new Voices in My Head stamp set. And this one was so much fun to do. You're going to love it. It's really easy compared to this one. This one's a little crazy. I did a little quarantine hair thing. So let's get busy and get started on my cards. I discovered last month that these stamps, like the, the big voices in my head, as well as these little guys, are perfect for making cards that talk about mask wearing. And since this has an I miss your face sentiment, I wanted to do something that tells my friends, and I made a bunch of these, tells my friends that I miss seeing their actual faces. We go for walks and stuff, but we have to socially distance and wear masks, and I miss just getting to see their faces, but we're gonna continue wearing our masks until we kick the butt of this disease. If you're watching this later, this is during pandemic season when coronavirus is going crazy on us. So to draw a mask in these, it's super simple. Just draw the top and the bottom line. Draw in eyes and eyebrows if you desire, or you can stamp them. And look at the little neck that there is. There's a neck you can stamp on these, so you don't have to draw that part yourself. That could be the bottom of the mask. You could put faces in there and not have to put the masks on there because the set comes with those. And I love it that there are just these tiny little faces now as opposed to just the one big face in the big voices in my head. So this is mini. And I'm just gonna draw masks real quickly across everything, give everybody some eyeballs and eyebrows. And it's just going to be my group of friends. And I'm going to send one to each one of them, which would be fun. Now to paint skin tones. I've done a whole lot on skin tones with Copic markers. And I've done a little bit with pencils, but I haven't really done much at all with watercolor. I just approach it really simply. I use the three brownish colors that I have and I mix them. And I mix them to various quantities based on kind of what looks right to me. I don't really have an a recipe. There are some artists who are portrait artists who will give you all kinds of recipes with, you know, all various kinds of hues and things. And I just don't get that crazy with it. I have some yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and burnt umber in my palette. And between the three of those, if I just drop in some of the color, I'm fine. Uh, that was a little close up of some lifting. So to make the bottoms of their necks sort of disappear into space. I just took a clean, dryish brush and lifted the color off the bottom so it would soften out that area. So then I just continued painting different faces. And you can go back into any of these while they're still wet, drop in other color and darken them, that sort of thing. If you get too much color, just grab a baby wipe and dab some off and lift it off that way. I decided next I would do the background. I just wanted a really nice simple background. I didn't paint a scene or anything. Just put some sky back there behind me and my friends and you know painted that up. You could go crazy and paint trees and things in there if you wish. And then after all that was dried because the the sky wasn't touching the faces which is why it made it safe to do that. I had to dry everything well so that then I could put the hair in here without having to worry about bleeding into the sky with these colors and could just zoom from one to the other. Now you do have to make sure that if their their hair is touching each other that you don't touch them while they're wet so that the color doesn't bleed etc. But it's a little bit easier if you separate doing all the faces first and then doing the sky and then doing all of the hair. And I will tackle a little bit on the masks as well. You could leave the masks just plain white. You could paint them with different colors. You could actually cut out pattern paper to stick in them. You could do all kinds of things with them. You can, you know, put polka dots on them and make them all decorative, etc. as well. These will just be white masks because I wanted to keep the card kind of simple with all of these faces in there and adding all of the, the different hair colors, etc in it. Um, but I will add some of the little wrinkles across the, the masks that make them look like they're 3D and that they're stretched across a face underneath. But you could certainly get away with probably just leaving them this way because they read as masks. We're getting used to having them. But I took a very, very light, meaning lots of water, 
with um, light color with whatever was left in my palette and just put a few lines across there. And it, there's no science to it. It's just make them go from one side kind of halfway out and then from the other side halfway out and leave some white space in there. And they look just great. Now, there's a mistake that comes in just a moment. I decided I wanted to do a background around this frame. So it was this, as if this were hanging on my wall. So I took some of that gray mush and wanted to use it up. So I started painting the background and then my camera pooped out on me and didn't film anything else. So now you just get to see, voila, look how fast I paint. So with that, I just painted lighter and lighter as it got to the outside and worked really hard. I wanted to show you, worked really hard to get that smooth. But then I also added this sentiment on the inside. Can't wait to squeeze you so hard your eyeballs pop out and hugging you really, really hard with my mind from way over here. <laughs> That's a sentiment in one of the new sets and I love it. So next is this other crazy card. I did this one first actually, which helped me to simplify for the card you just saw because nobody's going to make this. I took a square piece of watercolor paper and I made basically a couple of magazine pages, a cover, and then I wanted this to this side with the grid. I wanted it to be like you were going to the hairdresser and you wanted a good hairstyle to use with your mask so that you could look really beautiful with your mask on. Because masks make you sexy. Like they really make you look sexy. I'm trying to promote that idea so that I can feel sexy when I wear my mask. So I stamped all of the girls in their little boxes and then I made my magazine entitled Let It Grow by using a couple of other Ellen Hudson stamps. Everything's going to be linked in the doobly doo so you can see nobody's going to make this card. I know that. And here's big voices in my head lady and stamped her on the front cover. And then I've got a lot of doodling and drawing to do on this one. And this is all being done with a waterproof Sharpie, really simple kind of thing, not having to have a fancy pen to do it. And I put a border around the magazine and that sort of thing, added in the masks, just like I did on the other card and put them on each one of the ladies. And then I did what in graphic design we've always called Greeking. So it's like pretending there's writing there, just doing some scribbles and a couple lines. And then it looks like there's text in it, but there really isn't. It's just how you, you fake it for a sketch of something if you're doing an ad. And then I added the mask onto the big lady, but she needed to let her hair grow. This is all about long hair, so I drew in some long hair for her. I even drew in some long hair on some of the other ladies, too, because this magazine is all about doing long hair. So there's that. And I added a little bit of an article on the opposite page. Um, in the magazine and then haircuts and styles for mask wearing I was thinking about adding something about and for long hair but if it's called let it grow magazine then everybody should know that it's for people with long hair right so I'm gonna zoom through the painting on this one because we've already seen me paint these people and I'll just kind of talk through the process a little bit again I did the people's faces first and I was looking for areas where I could paint where I didn't have to worry about drying everything because it was, you know, I could paint areas that weren't touching each other. I put a little shadow on the magazine page in the background and then started in on the hair and the other features for each one of the ladies. Now, I don't know about you. A lot of you have been in areas where your, uh, your salons opened up and you all got to go out and get haircuts and that sort of thing. I have still not had a haircut. And I'm kind of thinking I might not for quite some time. I don't really know. For one, I, I don't really like the idea of like having somebody like breathing right in my face. I'm a little worried my dentist is going to open because I need a dentist cleaning. And I'm a little nervous about that. But I also figure I only have to be seen on Zoom. I don't actually have to go anywhere where I, where I have to look good. So I'm going to let haircuts... The few that are out there be for people who have to actually go to an office and be presentable. And I'm going to let my hair grow. I'm going to see how long I can get it. When I was younger, I used to have hair that was like so long it tucked into my jeans when I put them on. So, you know, it's not a bad thing to have long hair. So I might just do that. For the final touch on my card, after I got it mounted onto a layer and then onto some cardstock, I added the word magazine so that if anybody didn't get the idea that it was Let It Grow magazine, that maybe they would. 
So there we go. I would love to do a giveaway with this card. So leave a comment on my blog because it's easier to find you if I have your email address and stuff on the blog post than over here on YouTube. But you can also leave a comment here too. Grow through what you go through. Isn't that perfect for this card? It is also from that same stamp set that I used for the cover. Now this card is going to be over on Ellen Hudson's channel on Friday. A little sneak peek for you so you can see this whole Zoom thing is for real in my life. I did a whole card all about that in colored pencil with these new sets. And you'll get to see it Friday. And there is a blog hop, so go check it out. Links are all to everything on my blog since you're going to go enter for the prize anyway. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.